what it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com. Ash Said It.com. Welcome back to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Yes, over 1,000 episodes, half a million plus worldwide streams. Wouldn't be possible without you guys, so I thank you. If you haven't gotten your tickets to our Girls' Night Out, where we're premiering the Ocean's 8 movie starring Sandra Bullock, Rihanna, and a host of other powerful females, you need to go out to ashsetter.com and reserve your tickets. Tickets will sell out. We're past the halfway point. There are only like maybe a handful of tickets left. So jump onto it. Go and get your tickets now. Today, I am joined by the executive chef of Gun Show here in the ATL, the wonderful Joey Ward. Hey, Joey. Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate that. We know that you're a busy man. You know, you, you're looking over menus and coming up with all kind of creative themes. So I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, happy to do it. Definitely. All right, Joey. So for everyone that's listening, where are you from? Where do you represent? So I am a Georgia boy, born and raised. Mm, okay. I grew up um, just north of the city in a small town called Powder Springs. Mm. But I've been working in Atlanta for my entire life. Wow. So as a kid, Joey, what was your dream career? Uh, I was actually one of the rare situations where I knew that I wanted to grow up and become a chef um, mm. from a very, very young age. It's, it's sort of all I've ever wanted to do, which is good because I think it's the only thing I'd be good at at this <laughs> point. Um, there's actually a newspaper clip that my, my grandmother has stashed away somewhere where a local newspaper came to my elementary school I was in kindergarten or first grade, and they interviewed a handful of kids, and I was one of them. And they asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? And folks were saying, you know, astronaut, you know, I want to be a police officer, a fireman. And they got to me, and I was like, chef. And it was a very <laughs> bizarre re- response at that, at that time because it was kind of before the celebrity chef thing had happened, uh, mm-hmm. very mainstream. But I knew that I liked cooking and eating, um, or eating at that point, and I wanted to do that for the rest of my life. So um, that's kind of kind of led me down my path at an early age and I stayed focused. Hmm. Now, as you had this dream on your heart and this desire to enter the culinary world, what kind of what kind of challenges were you facing? Uh, well, I came from a very humble background. Like I grew up um, fairly, fairly poor. Uh, my parents worked very hard, but uh, my mom was always working and um, and we didn't really have a whole lot. I grew up in a, in a trailer park home. Um, but I, I knew that if I worked hard and, and, and tried to make my own way, that I could I could try to become something someday. And I ended up being one of the only people in my entire family to go to a college. Um, I went to culinary arts school, and that was all um, paid through hard work. And I'm actually still paying that with student mm-hmm. loans. But yeah. <laughs> I think everybody knows about that oh, much yeah. at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was just, you know, trying to work hard and, and the sacrifices I would say come with the nature of the industry, you know, the restaurant industry, we are working when people are wanting to be out having fun. So Mm. Friday, Saturday nights, um, holidays, you know, we're working so that we can provide a great experience for guests that want to come when they have time off. So I had to sacrifice a lot of personal, um, my personal life, um, in the earlier years and, and I still do a lot actually. Mm. Um, like I didn't go to, I didn't go to high school prom because I had to work the saute station on a Friday night, you know? Mm. Um, but it's, it's starting to pay off now. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How did you connect with gun show? Uh, gun show. I was, um, Kevin Gillespie, our owner, and, um, he was formerly on top chef. Um, I was his sous chef at a previous restaurant called Woodfire Grill mm. and, I left Woodfire Grill um, when Kevin um, sold his shares and, and moved on, and I took the job at H. Harper Station, which is um, now closed, but it was it's about a uh, quarter mile from Glen Show's location now, and I worked there as the executive chef. It was my first executive chef job uh, for a year, and right at the end of a year, Kevin contacted me and told me he was going to be opening this crazily named uh restaurant called gun show and i laughed at the name and then uh he asked me if i would be the first to hire and i, I told him yes that i would i would help him to get his dream off the ground wow that is awesome 
All right, you guys, we're talking with executive chef of Gun Show, Joey Ward. We're going to take a brief break. When we come back, we're going to jump into the good stuff. We're going to jump into the food and inspiration and the unique way that the food is presented. I, I just We're, we're going to jump all into that, Joey. So you guys hang tight with us. We will be right back. You spend one third of your life sleeping. Why not make it comfortable with Casper? Ash Brown here from Ash Said It Daily. Casper products are cleverly designed to mimic human curves, providing supportive comfort for all body types. When I'm touring around the world, there's always one important detail missing, my Casper bed. I can't wait to get home for a restful night's sleep. There's nothing like it. The experts at Casper work tirelessly to make a quality sleep surface that cradles your natural geometry in all the right places. The prices are affordable because Casper cuts out the middleman and sells directly to you. They're all designed, developed, and assembled right here in the U.S. Don't forget about Casper's 100-night risk-free sleep-on-it trial. Get $50 towards select mattresses by visiting casper.com slash ash and using ash, A-S-H, at checkout. Terms and conditions apply. Get your Casper mattress for a restful night. Visit casper.com slash ash, promo code A-S-H. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Ash Brown, for the Ash Said It Daily podcast show. We are speaking today with executive chef of Gun Show, Joey Ward. Joey, all right, walk us through a walk us through a Wednesday evening at Gun Show. What happens? All right, well, for those that haven't been, uh, Gun Show has a very unique um, decor as well as <laughs> dining experience and service style, so when you come in the restaurant, we actually don't have any signs outside the building uh, hanging up, so it's sort of discreet and hidden. Um, and you come in, and it's one big room that will be bustling and loud, and we play our music as high as, and loud as we can because we want it to feel like you're having a party with the guys <laughs> and girls in the kitchen. And so we, we all, uh, my cooks and myself, we all pick the playlist every night, whatever we want to hear, uh, whether it be a full Metallica album, or sometimes we jam to, like, uh, uh, we were playing Lemonade the other night, actually. Um, <laughs> and it's just whatever we're in the mood for. So uh, you come in, we do communal seating, uh, which means there are big, long tables, and so you're sitting next to people that you don't know but often end up making friends with. We see that a lot. Um, and then you're presented with a menu for the night's offerings, and it's just sort of each item is sort of a brief description of what will be coming around. The dishes are presented in what we call a dim sum style of service, uh, meaning that you don't actually order the dishes. They are plated by the cook that prepared them, and then they bring them out and offer them to you table side. If you say you'd like it, then they'll give you one to you, and they'll mark it on your menu like a tally. Uh, at the end of the um, at the end of the meal, your menu will be tallied up, and that becomes your bill. That so it's is... it's pretty pretty unique. <laughs> when I heard about this, I was like, "What? Like you don't you don't order and just no?" So like they go back, they prepare the stuff, and they literally walk around and see what you want to eat. That is yeah. original. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a lot of fun too. It gets folks out of their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you end up trying things that you may not have normally ordered because it's there. You get to see it, you get to smell it, and you get to hear the story of the passion behind it. Um, so that's really great. That's one of my favorite parts is that we get people to try things that they may not normally try. Mm. Is there any dish that you'd say is more popular than others? Well, we actually change the menu uh, very, very, very often. So uh, mm. it's never very stagnant. Uh, right. We have a couple of dishes that we bring back from time to time, but we try not to repeat dishes. We're always trying to reinvent and push forward. Um, and we do that by reacting to whatever local farms are bringing in seasonally for us. Mm -hmm. And with Georgia's growing season, we have such micro uh, micro seasons that we have things specific things available at any given time. I mean, we're we're making a menu around that. Yeah. But um, some of the things that we we do well, um, I I use I've done a, a version of um, my interpretation of an In and Out burger. Um, from the West Coast, because you can't get them out here. And I'll do that as a secret menu item, and we'll call that the West Coast Burger. And then I just I bring that out and offer it to people as a surprise, and, and that one is always very, very popular. Um, and right now I'm doing a dish called Vietnamese Chicken and Waffles, which is um, it's actually a dish that got me to, um, to meet my wife, um, wow. of all things. Yeah. So she came in on a date with another gentleman, 
uh, to Gun Show, mm -hmm. and uh, she uh, interacted with me and had my chicken and waffles and then wrote a review about it online, and then I reached out to her, and now we've been married for three years. Wow. <laughs> so you scooped her up so, with the chicken So the chicken and waffles, waffles are pretty good. <laughs> See, but you gotta be, you gotta preface that, Joe. You gotta be like, okay, look, you guys, the, the chicken and waffles are good, but they may be real good and snatch you up from somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so That's right. It could be really good. All right, be it that we're here in Georgia and our our, our state fruit, the, the peach. Uh, what dishes do you guys incorporate peaches in? Or are there any that you can think of? Oh, yeah. Um, so we are hyper seasonal. We have a great relationship with some peach orchards here in Georgia. Um, when we get them in, a lot of times, a lot of times, what we like to do is can them and jar them so that we can have them during the winter mm, as well. Gotcha. Um, but for the fresh peaches, we like to do charred peaches a lot. So we'll cut them in half and and take the pit out and then either grill them or just put them mm. in a cast iron pan at a really high heat, get a nice burn on one side, yeah. and that's a nice compliment to the sweetness of the peach. Mm, that sounds really good, Joey. Really, really good. <laughs> reservations are reservations required for gun show. Uh, reservations are not required, however, they are highly recommended, especially for Thursday, Friday, or Saturday night. Mm. Um, generally, we take reservations one month to the date, and we usually completely book up um, within a couple of days of opening up that slot. Mm. What about private parties? If someone wants to have a birthday party, a wedding party, heck, even a divorce party, <laughs> can they, can they uh, <laughs> set it up at gun show? Uh, yeah, we offer a buyout uh, situation through our special events team where we can have the entire restaurant be just for you and your guests. Mm. Um, and then if it's a smaller uh, event, like I believe it's between 8 to, um, I believe, 16 people, then we can do a, we do like a 10-course menu for you and your section. And so you don't even have to order or say yes or no. It just all comes out family style. Mm. And folks have a lot of fun with that. Yeah. Now, Atlanta is now, we'll say it's the new Hollywood. All right. There's celebrities all over. There's filming going all over TV shows, movies. Everything is under the cut. So there are a lot of A-listers that frequent gun show. So I've heard. Can you, can you drop a few names maybe that, that people might be familiar with, Joey? That's true. Um, <laughs> it, it always blows my mind that the celebrities come in as often as they do because, like I said, it's communal seating. It's actually quite bright. There's no private area, just mm -hmm. one big room, but they seem to come in and have a lot of fun. Um, let's see, a couple that um, that I really liked. Um, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunitz came in together. Um, then we had, let's see, Russell Crowe, Quentin Tarantino, Kurt Russell, um, Usher has been in, Andre 2000 has been in a few times. Wow. Um, I mean, there's so many, to be honest. So basically, you don't know who you're going to see when you go to Gun Show. Yeah, at any time. I'll be there. You'll see me for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we'll pick you out. Like, there's Joey. There he is. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, Joey, why do people need to come out and experience Gun Show? Well, Gun Show does a couple of things really well. We're the we're definitely the most unique dining experience. I recommend bringing uh, tables of four to six are a really good group for us mm -hmm. because it encourages people to share food and we, we encourage people to interact and, and just kind of have fun. Um, the food is generally very, very tasty. I make sure of that. And it, it lets you kind of be introduced to some new things that you may not normally try. So right. I think it's, it's fun. Come with a slightly adventurous crowd and just an open mind and, and just let us take care of the rest. Sounds like a plan. Joey Ward, Joey, thank you so much for joining us today on the Ash of the Daily podcast show. Uh, please let us know the best way to get in contact with you guys and, of course, to make those reservations. Sure. You can uh, hit us up at gunshowatl.com, and we're also available to put reservations on uh, Seat Me through Yelp. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We appreciate you guys so very much. Thank you for supporting the movement, which is ashsetit.com. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face and tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is way better. Until next time, you guys.